All right, let's see. Hey, Patty. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's such a pain to get into StreamYard. Is your mini cam different than StreamYard or is that the same thing? It's like to get the camera working anymore, you have to go back and forth, back and forth. Gosh, it's a pain. Hi, Joan. <laughs> Oh, so let's see. Um, some hi, Petey. Um, some new Jane stuff to share, and then uh, if you watch Patty, she showed the new Lisa Linka, which I'm still waiting on mine. I'm surprised it's taken so long. Hi, Joy. So I'll share the Jane things first. I did swatch them, so you don't have to watch me swatch. And I did put them in the little Dr. Ink pens. Well, hi, Tina. Welcome. So, let's see. Uh, I have one book to show, to share first before we get going. I did use my new octopus um, palette. Isn't that cute? So, I put the watercolors in there, and they dried, so I'd be able to uh, re-wet them and have them work again. So, I have two books to share. The first one is, if you saw Lena's... Uh, Instagram this week. She was doing some um, kitty cats. They were really cute. They were kind of like um, like this book. I call them atmospheric um, like watercolor and she had another name for it. I forget what she called it. But um, it's a really cute book. Sit there. And it's by Jean Haynes. I think you guys know her. And I wound up getting this. I think I wound up finding this at Joanne's. So there you go. I'm sorry about the glare. Maybe if I put something on there. Hi, Paula. Welcome. There we go. Is that a little bit better? Isn't it cute? It's, I love it because it's like so loose and you could see that um, they just kind of throw the paint around, which I have to get better at being more loose and just too, <laughs> too stiff. But isn't it cute? So I'll just share it really quick. And I've still got a glare on it there. Maybe that's better. Uh, a little bit better. And that's her, Jane Hines. She's in there on Instagram. I think she has a YouTube channel. I subscribe to her uh, emails. Of course, it's always the beginning. It's the supplies, the brushes. But uh, look how pretty the, the fox. It's just like so delicate, isn't it? This one with the little bear. Well, it's not so little, but. <laughs> and she shows how to select colors, you know, simple studies. This one, this one's cute, the elephant. Hey, Dorothy, you made it. <laughs> I made it in home. Were you out? Out to dinner? This one, I love this one with all the different colors. Isn't it cool? So what else is going on? I'm trying to think what else happened this week. I did finally, my face, so all the black and blue is gone now, but my knee is still hurting me. And just like the tip of my nose underneath that, it's still like when I go to blow my nose, it's pretty, it's pretty hurting still. <laughs> Hi, Ruth. First timer, welcome. There we go. Isn't that cute? I love this one. <laughs> Kind of like my Zoe a little bit. And then, um, yeah, so she did um, Kitty Cat. I'm trying to, I think she might have done one or two. I can't remember. It's Panda. And some dogs. And she gives you how to do the different eyes. It's a really nice little book. I like this. Siamese cat. That's for you, Dee Dee. <laughs> Except for hers are all white with a little black. Like this, more like this. <laughs> Kitties. Lion. And I think somebody else does this style besides her. It's a cute kitty, right? Aren't you? Oh, look at the koala. Isn't it cute? <laughs> koala there. Koala. And so she does even with sprays and she uses toothbrushes, so... I haven't had a chance to read it all the way. We'll just kind of look through the pictures for now. Oh, and I love this one. I like to try this one. The octopus. You're out for dinner. That's nice with your nieces. Yay. 
Isn't that pretty? And this one with the seahorse, the ocean. So I'm trying to think somebody else. I've seen somebody else who's this style, but I can't quite remember who. But look, cute, cute, cute. <laughs> Janet, oh, Aaron keeps coming up. Janet Young, where is Janet? Come in, I need Sarah. Come in. So again, that's Jean Haynes, uh, atmospheric animals and watercolors. If you're interested in that. And then this book is more more or less for Dee. I almost think I should send it to Dee. I think she would do get better uh, do better things with it. But I was at Barnes and Nobles, my Barnes and Nobles, and they had this. Look at that, Dee. Do you have this? Dragon art. She does some really cool stuff with dragons and castles. And she did in her collages. Um, and this is by John How Howie. Or he might be the illustrator. I'm not sure. There's the other name here. You love dragons too, Joan? <laughs> you don't have this one? I might have to tear out a couple pages in this one and send them to you. It's so big, I can't really get it in. I can't get it in the bowl. Let's see if I can. Hi, Kimberly. Let's see. I'm going to just skim through it uh through the back look at this one oh and still with the glare it's so hard with these glossy pages Let's see if I can get that. there you go there's that one and it has a step-by-step -step. can you see how they show it here step-by-step -step how they um painted it let's see there's another one it's hard to hold it up and share it. So I'm just going to run through a few pages. I love this one with the castle. See him up there on top of the castle there? You see it? Oh, you thought you saw Janet. Yeah. Let's see. Can I get it that way? I know it's hard with the glare. I want to get a couple. Look at this one. So it's not even like a black, um, you know, like dark brown. Look how pretty that one is in the purple and yellow. Isn't that cool? And here's another one. Dragons of the New World. This one's cool too. See that there? Maybe if I hold it like that. It's like it's heavy for my hands, too. So it's a pretty heavy book. There's this one with the purple. Hey, Sherry. Let's see if I can turn a couple of... Like, most of the time, you think of the dragons like this, dark brown. But I like the one that's our colors, different colors. Um, and they're always so mean, fire breathing. <laughs> Give me that one. And there, this one is like a sketch on how the how they did that one. So I, if I take this apart, I'll have to send you some of these, Dee Dee. I think they're pretty cool. See that one there. Like this is a type that Dee Dee does with the um, her collages, and she puts all kinds of buildings in the back. Isn't that cool? Your husband loves dragons too, Sherry. Yeah, it's a cool book. I got it at Barnes and Noble in their not their clearance bin, but you know their bargain bin. I can't remember what I paid for it. Wow, well, I think maybe twelve dollars. Not sure. There's another one. That one. It's cool. This definitely was a book, a book made for GD. <laughs> that one's kind of dark. I don't have any more. Look at that one. You see that one? And the pages are big. I think they're like 13 by 13. This one's nice too. Yeah, so if you're in Barnes and Nobles or if you want to, uh, I don't know if you probably, probably might be able to find it on Thrift Books or A Books. But again, um, so it's Inspirational Impact. Can you read that? Technique and Fantasy Art. And then it's, I don't know if that's the author there. 
and then that's the illustrator not sure but yeah so dragon art those are my two books to share and then i didn't get a chance last week we did um this cute little journal um i didn't get a chance to paint any birds on it but i'll share i'll show you so this was a little journal that we did uh last week oh i, have, I found this little it's not really a walnut these come off a tree they're like a round i don't know what you call it looks it looks like a coconut skin kind of can you see it maybe i'll put this other light on Let's see it better there see it but i picked it up because look it's got a little heart in the in the shape of it <laughs> cute so I tried to stamp it. I have to probably stamp it on like a tissue or something. But it's got the little heart inside. <laughs> I thought that's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Right, that's better. But yeah, and then we stenciled this last week. And if you want to see how I made this, you can just check out. Um, and then we just put scrapbook paper and different papers in there. But you can check that out. I did that. Thanks, Kimberly. <laughs> we did that last week. And then, so my goal for this is to just keep it in the car. And then, like, when I'm out waiting, you know, I want to sketch a, uh, put a bird on it. Like Eileen says, put a bird on everything. Um, so I want to put a bird on the front cover. And then when I'm out sketching, um, I can sketch on there. All right. So I did, um, let's see, I did swatch colors. So this is Jane's new skinny dip inks. So you can see them. That's this one here. And there's 12 colors. So this is, so when I used her new stamp, uh, let's see. This one? This is what we'll probably might use today. So this is her new stamp. So you get three different sizes. And these are from Creative Expression. So if you didn't want to go to um, her site to get them, you can get them. Hi, Raul. Skinny <laughs> Yeah. Um, we are, um, what was I saying? Oh, you get them. I think scrapbook.com has it now. Cherry on top. Um, top light stamps. Anyway, you can always Google it too. Um, but she's got her new stamp sets. Aren't they cute? And so what I did was I took the smallest face and I stamped that and then showed the ink. So let me put the autofocus on for this. I can... If my camera cooperates, I've had a hard time get, getting it to uh, to go on StreamYard. I thought I was going to have to go on you. Um, let's see. Hey, Vaughn. Watercolor pigment ink. It's a watercolor. Um, what does she describe it as? Create wonderful. The ink may stain clothes, hands. I know it's um, water. Wash hands, yeah. It's water reactive, so it's not permanent. Uh, does she say what kind of ink it is? I think it's just a regular ink. I don't know. I'll have to find out. I can't remember what it is. You would think it would say on here. Clean water, medicine, blah, blah, blah. Puppy ink, bye. No, I don't know. It just says watercolor ink. Watercolor ink. Uh, let's see. Uh, hopefully my camera will stay in focus. There we go. So like, now you can see the colors a little bit better. And I have it on the Paul Rubens glitter paper. Do you want me to put the slide on? Oh, that's better. So you can see that there. There you go. So this first one is Rococo. Then this one's called Celebrity Skin. So what I did was I tried to do it full strength here, and then I washed it out here so you could see the full strength. This one's Tantastic. This one is Sun Blessed. And this one is Violet Femme. This one is Soft Focus. It's really, it's a little bit darker than what you see on my screen. Um, this one's called Shortbread. I think Shortbread is my favorite. 
for skin tones. And this one's called Silk Stockings. And then she's got four of the darker tones. So this one is Ruby Tuesday, Shady Lady. This one is Denim Blue. And then Madam Lash. <laughs> so that's what we're going to play with today. And <clears throat> I'm not sure if they're um, permanent. Like if you let them like, they are water resistant. So right now I could spread it with water, but I'm not really sure if you could move them. Let's see. Like now I did that yesterday. Let's see if we can move them a little. Oh, so maybe they're like semi semi permanent maybe i have some pink in that brush that's why you see pink oh maybe they are permanent after so maybe it's just um like you have to wait the next day or whatever yeah so there you go so we're gonna play with those and then i'll share um her new all her new stamps She doesn't like to say that, you know, they're permanent, permanent, because you can move them when you first put them on. So she only came out with two stencils, actually one big one. So there's this one. This one's called, <clears throat> does she have a name, please? FaceTime. And that's the one that goes with this, which has the, um, you can have it in that, or that comes with the eyes. You could do the eyes, freckles, cute little freckles. You could choose your mouth and nose. So you could make any type of face or make your own face. So that's that one. Then there's this one, the big one I like to do. And this comes separate out so that you can create your own face, which we might use that. I think we might do that one. And then these are three-quarter faces. This is called Side Chick. Yeah, the freckles are cute, aren't they? <laughs> and the feathers. I have her dyes that are just like um, her feathers. So it'll be cool to combine the two. And then I love this with the new uh, mermaid dip pen. So, and they're a lot bigger too. But she's done them like smaller, but I like that you have a bigger range for... Um, swatching and then this one's cute this one matches her washi tape i think i showed that to you last week and then these i thought would be cool for waves not just for hair but would be cool for waves and then she's got this one the raindrop one clouds it's cute and then this is the face so those are her new stamps and stencils you know what? I forgot to pull out a book for us to use. So we have been watching her. She's in Japan right now. And she's been sharing all her um, fun things that she's doing in Japan. Uh, I'm not going to use a book. Hold on. i gotta, I got to get a book. <laughs> and uh, and when I have a big cherry blossom tree in front of my house. So I thought we would do something with cherry blossoms. Um, Uh, let's see if this one's got anything in it. What does this have? But yeah, we could do this. And then next week, um, next week I have some of uh, Devin's stencil coming and um, Safia and Darcy's. So we'll probably play with those. And then I'm thinking, what is this? I want to make a mermaid book. So I'm hoping my paper can will come from Simon Says because I want to uh, make a, a mermaid journal for mermaid. Oh, let me see. I know the white doesn't like the white page. Um, so this one is one that I've done uh, for 24. So this was February 2024. 
I guess I did do it then. So let's pick a page. I don't have a lot of things done in this one. Oh, I love this page. <laughs> oh, thanks, Kimberly. This is my favorite. I think it's my favorite that I've ever done. And this was from um, uh, Lena's class in her Patreon, where she did all her, she did all hers in white and blue with her mother-in-law's china. That was a fun class. And then I think I did this one on stream with uh, Elizabeth St. Clair. Um, I love this one too. We did this at 23 for February. Love that one. Uh, this one I did in Maryland. That was with um, PMR Studio Stencils. Um, and this one we did at Christmas time. I don't have a date on that. Um, I forget we did. We did um, some type of technique, but I don't remember what it was for there. Maybe we'll do this page. Let's see. I don't know what else do I have in here. Oh, and this one we did. I think we did that. Was that last year? Might have been last year for St. Patrick's Day. Or this year, I don't remember. Um, you love them all. Thanks. And then I like this one. This one's cute. This one did 23. So it must be 23 that I started this book. And is that it? Oh, and that's my little perfume girl. <laughs> All right, so I think maybe should we do this page? Because my idea is I cut out um, cherry blossoms. I got my little stencils. I was looking for my um, stamps from you, Patty, that has the Oriental. I can't find them. I'm gonna have to look. Uh, oh, I just lost my dragonfly. So I did cut this out, and I thought maybe we could use this. I actually cut two pieces out. Oh, thanks, Joan. <laughs> so I thought we could use some of these butterflies. I did pull out these stencils. I really wanted my phone stamps, but I couldn't find them. So. So let's see. So I fussy cut one, and this one is that um, paper that uh, Patricia gave me, the, um, what is it, wet tissue paper, which is really hard to tear. So I tried to tear, and then I actually tried to cut some of it, too. Oh, and I forgot to find, <laughs> find the hottest things. <laughs> I forgot to show, so last, um, I showed January, February, so I did finish my March. I do have a couple things more that I have to color. But I've been keeping up with it, so which is good. And then I started April, which I still have to go back and color this. This is when I fell. <laughs> this is the solar eclipse, my cherry tree, and this is my little walnut. I call it a walnut. I know it's not a walnut, but yeah. So then I started that. I think more it would look better. Like the first two I did had more of a color scheme where those are kind of not really so i think the next time for may i'm going to try to pick like four or five different colors and just stick to that but we'll see all right so i'm thinking if i go should we go like this and i can glue this down and then we can put our girl here and maybe i can have another cherry blossom across the page like that but what colors? Well, since I started with green for the background already, I think maybe we should stick with green. So let's see. What? Um, these are my little ones. I don't know where my big, big ones are. But you can use that. We can use those for now. Um, so let's. Um, trying to think what I use for this. Maybe it was just watercolor. So maybe we'll lay down watercolor. And then we're going to do the faces in these colors. Oops. Am I on autofocus again? Hold on. The camera is so strange on StreamYard. I don't know why it's doing that. Hold on. I have to wait for it to click in. Well, we'll wait for that. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, I know somebody else had trouble with StreamYard. Who's streaming and they had to go straight to YouTube? 
So I don't know, StreamYard's having problems. Why is my camera coming up now? Let's see. Right, so maybe what we'll do is, oh, and I put all my inks in these little doctor um, ink pens that Jane um, has on her site. So we'll sketch with those. All right, there's my camera. Now I thought I took the autofocus off. Nope, oh, there it is. Okay. All right, there we go. <laughs> Hi, Beth. All right, so let's see. Um, green, green, green. I'm trying to think of what uh, I have that we could just like spray it really quick to give the, the background um, some color. I should have a green spray, and I don't. All right, so I think what we'll do is, let's see. We pounce. I'm going to do the girl on this side, so maybe we can put her in between here. So let's pounce some something here. Let's see. I'm gonna go with um, Jane's gesso, because that way when we put watercolor on here, we will. So let's. I need a little palette. I don't know. Is that light bothering? I'm trying to see if that does that help. You like the light on or off that light? It's just a little ring light that I got at Walmart, and so I'm thinking to see if that if that helps or not. All right, so all right, let's do this. We'll do pounce of the paper in pink. I mean, <laughs> the flowers in pink. I still have a hard time. My hands are like from the fall. They really hurt still. There we go. Did anybody watch Tim over the weekend? I saw a little bit of his new stamps. I did get a couple, his new doily, his out of the vault um, new dies. I did like those. I should keep these upside down. That's what Jane does. So that they're at the ready. That's probably green. I don't know if that's a flower or not. <laughs> Those are probably green. This is probably a flower. Whatever. All right. So now we have the green. You don't need them. You like his new doily die set. Yeah, I got his his new doily die set too. And I got that that one, and I think I think I got the watch one because I like the little gears for the steampunk. I'll use this one for the green. I'm thinking maybe that this is leaves now. Or not. Not. Uh, we'll see what happens. 
We're going to cover this anyway with some white. And then we need a uh, brown. Do I have any brown? Oh. This is black. Let's try this one. I always have like one tube of brown and I never, I never know where that is. <laughs> if we mix it with the green, what happens? Anything? Not really, too much green. bad <laughs> all right um this here so we'll let that dry then we can put the girl in here and then i'm going to go ahead. i want to find a spray thanks 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 Yvonne. i don't have let me move this I need, I used to have a little green spray. Where is it? Uh, is that it? I don't have any green. All right, well, let's do this. Let's just spread this on. I probably could do it with watercolor maybe instead. Let's do that. I'm going to just take this, CB's favorite, <laughs> favorite tool, this, and I talked to her this week, too. She's doing okay. What color is this? Oh, purple. We don't want that. What can I use? <laughs> Help me. Do this. Oh, I need a spray bottle, just plain spray bottle. Yeah, she's uh, she was having lunch with Wit and uh, she's just looking for a water bottle. I would think with all the water I have, I could have a water bottle here. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. Just gonna wet this page. Mix pink and green, and I'll have brown. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna wet this for now. Well, we're gonna put that other tissue paper on here anyway. But I just want to get green in the background. I don't want any green there for her face. All right, so let's take one of these. Let's just do this. I have no idea if this is right side up or upside down. I have no clue. These were stencils that I got um, a couple years ago now, I think. And I got them off of AliExpress. 
I told you guys though now, right, that uh, you don't have to be anybody big. That um, somebody on AliExpress stole Jimmy's designs for his T-shirts. It's like, my gosh. I mean, he's like a little, a little person. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, gosh, they, they steal from anybody. It's terrible. I think I'm gonna, I'll even do this. These little tiny ones. like to spray what can, I need a green spray where is my green spray <laughs> I'm trying to think of um, did I do with all of my sprays anyway I love this toothbrush um, for is that back out again the focus no Well, I just, I'm just going to have to use a brush. Here, let's use this. Oh, and let's get a, a brush. Hey, Barb. So this is uh, her food truck, um, what do you call it, uh, layer cakes. So let's go with, um, do I want to go with that? Let's maybe some of this. That, that's pretty. Can you see? You can't see. I don't know if I could zoom out any. My, uh, like I said, the camera on StreamYard this time is like, I went out. <laughs> Uh, that's a little bit better. There we go. And then this will move too because this is still um, layer cake in here too. Just gonna get a background so that we could before we put the tissue paper down. Just spreading the color around. It dries pretty quick too. Like you can see that flower page is almost already dry. I think the pink will pop with this um, color right here, too. And I don't want to um, do this part because we're going to do her face. So we'll save this page. Let's just come in here. All right, let's get the heat gun out. Reminds you of uh, an attic wallpaper. It does, right? Okay. Um, let me get my heat gun. Splat. Um, the new puppy. 
It's supposed to be getting really big now. What's <laughs> going I used to have a Ranger one, and this is probably really loud. Um, but I don't know what happened to it. Good. He's going to camp. <laughs> 32 pounds. Oh my gosh, I'd never be able to handle him. <laughs> All right, so now we have that. All right, so now we can lay down our cherry blossom. We did that one there, and then. This one, this is the one I fussy cut. I'm almost thinking if we put that one this way. And that way we still will have her face. Um, we could put it in there like that. So how about that? I'm wondering, does anybody know this wet um, tissue paper? Hi, Barb. How are you? Oh, she's working and watching. <laughs> I was thinking about you today because I'm doing a kimono girl. And then I I have a, a piece of that Barb and I, we swapped. And I have one of her paste papers. I was going to use it for her kimono. But then I was like, oh, it would just be stuck in a book. So it's like, oh, I'm saving that one piece. And it's like, oh, I just can't. I don't have the heart to use it yet. <laughs> I probably should just put it on a journal, uh, a journal book, you know, the front of a cover. But all right, so I'm going to use this Yamatoto. Oh, that's good. I pop in every once in a while. I don't always chat in your, in yours. Um, and then let's see, we need a crummy brush. Um, what do I have? That's this will be good. Hey, Tam. All right. So, so now this is that wet strength tissue paper. I know Devin says it's hard to tear and it does. It does give you a kind of a terrible tear. So I don't know how this is going to be. I don't even know if it's going to go really translucent. We'll see. So let's see. Maybe I can just test it. See what it's like. Oh yeah, it'll that'll be all right. And I like to spray it. Of course, I don't have any water. Should have a pipette here. It's like I always think I'm so organized when I get here. I'm like, oh, I have everything I need, and then that's just not true. Oh, I need a. Um, I need a spray bottle with water. <laughs> like, where is my... Oh, there we go. Got it. <laughs> I like to add some water onto this because it's so thick. So. I have that stamp, but I know with the, the way that this book is, um, it wouldn't sta stamp. That's why I put it on tissue paper. It just wouldn't stamp evenly, you know. Let's 
Let's fill up some water here. Oh, it is nice. It does go down nice and clear. So that's good. Jack Seth, Julie's uncle. I've sent some cute little uh, Instagram things to Patty with the yellow lab. <laughs> so funny. This one little yellow lab, he loves his duck. And the owner, like, gives him tons of the stuffed duck. And he got dressed up like a duck, too. <laughs> it's funny. This really glue is really good for um, tissue paper. Look how nice and flat that is. It's really nice. He's just reading the chat. Training for three weeks. You mean you actually have to let go to a place? Like we did our, when we did Holly, we did her at um, PetSmart where you went there, you know, and they, uh, they trained them. And then I can come back here and color this too. What glue am I using? It's this one. It's really, it's made for um, tissue paper. It's really nice. And it's a matte finish. Yamato. You can get it on Amazon. It's Y-A-M-A-T-O. Oh, wow. Three weeks. Wow, that's far. We would go, Sheila would have classes, but we never left her there. Yeah, because you see, like, you can't even see the edging at all on this, uh, the glue. And I have to th uh, thank Sharon uh, for telling us about the glue. Yeah, look how nice and clear that is. Oh, I love that. Okay, so now we're going to do the other side. This. And then we'll get ready to do her face. And I'm going to use uh, Jane's new Dr. Inks. Yeah, that is a long time. All right, so now I want to take this down slowly. See how quick that layer cake dries? It dries really fast. I think this wet strength tissue is a little bit stronger than if you use that tissue paper. <clears throat> is Colleen done with all her foot surgery Kathy I didn't get a chance to see you guys last week Can't look at chat right now. There we go. There we go. 
She got the pen out and she's almost there. Oh, cool. That's good. That looks good. See, and you can't see it so matte. You can't really see the um, see the glue down there at all, which is nice. All right. All righty. All right. So let's see. Should we use a stamp or a stencil? I'm trying to think. Let me see. We can use a big face. <clears throat> or we can use a stamp. I think maybe, I don't know. I really want to do like a, a kimono type thing. Um, let's see. What happened? Thanks, Kimberly. A whole hog. What does that mean? I must have missed something. <laughs> must have missed something. Um, All right. I think I think I might go with the stencil. That's where we can. And then I'm going to come back and do all these little cherry um, blossoms in the pink. So, of course, I won't finish it today. But. <laughs> All right. So, let's see. I won't. I want to give her, you know, that hair like they have. They have that. Um, I did one <clears throat> um, on Instagram. She came out really pretty. Everybody liked that one. So. All right. So, let's. Let's go with one of these, and I think I'm going to trace it in. This ink is called called Bardello, Jane's ink. <clears throat> oh, this is Earth Brown. This is not Bardello. Let's see. I thought I had Bardello here. Because the reason I don't want to use that one, because that one is permanent, but no, I don't see it. Lord. Mm. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know where my bordello is. It's going to run a little bit, this one. Oh, yeah, this one. Why does it say bordello and then it says earth brown? I have no idea. <laughs> Let's just do this. This has a really nice fine line. And then I want her hair to be more like. We have the face anyway. <laughs> Looks like a close to size shopping cart. All right, and then I want to do her eyes. So should we stamp her eyes? What time is it? Oh, we have a whole hour. So uh, let's see. I can use new stamps. I want them to be kind of like almond shaped, so 
maybe like this but not uh, I might have to draw it let's see and I just want to see now if this is this is my waterproof pen or my This is not the waterproof ink. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to keep her white. Well, I'm going to use pencil. I'm not brave enough to do. Uh, <laughs> not brave enough to do. All right, so I'm going to have to tilt it just a little bit. You love those pens. Ah, for the stencils, they're cool, right? And they're so nice and light. I love these Jane's new Dr. Ink pens. So it's got like a cotton barrel, and then you just stick it in your bottle of ink. And then it's got a really fine tip. Can you see that? A really fine tip. And um, then you can use your favorite ink. Just ink away. All right. So I'm going to go. I want her eyes to be kind of almond shaped. So like that. And then her eyebrow like this. Uh, Let's see her nose. I'm terrible with the uh, three quarter faces, so we'll see how this turns out. Uh, and then this eye. Kind of looks even, right? So it's about like that. That it's about mm, it's a little bit close. We moved a little bit farther away. Should go here, maybe. Kind of like slanty. And then we've got the lip. I think I want her nose maybe just a little bit this way. And then our lip will be something like that. <laughs> And then I think I'm going to take a, my circle template. Where is that? Because the iris always looks so much better if you have like a complete circle. <laughs> so let's take. Uh, it's too big. It's too big. Let's do this one. Coming across. Oh, can you see? Maybe I should zoom you in now a little. And then we're going to take out the ink. There we go. That's better. So, anything else going on with anybody? I definitely want to um, get my journal for mermaid. Although I have a, one journal that's like half full of mermaids. So, I might do that one if I don't get my paper in time. We'll see. All right. So, let's get our pens now. I still don't know if I like her nose. Um, she's kind of like, see, she's down like that, and then and then her mouth is like off. Should be tilted more. Same with her nose, I think. 
So they could take a trick like this and go like that and then come down. And the nose should be like this. And then her lip should be more like that. Like an angle. More like that, I think. And then her kimono. Have her. Like that. We can just have fade off into the distance. Oh yeah, Patty retires two more weeks. <clears throat> Do you think you'll start designing again, Patty? Like doing stamps and stencils once now that you'll have more time? I'm always thinking maybe I need this nose. Maybe if I stamp that nose. Let's just see. Let's see if I got if I stamp her nose. I'll stamp it in uh, a light gray. Do I have a light gray? So I think I think I'm gonna do that. I need a light gray though. Um, see if you need to. Oh, hi. Hey, Enchanted James, welcome. Just playing with Jane's new inks and her stamps. This is light gray. No plans for that. A lot of house, pro oh, house projects, yeah. That's good. You love yours? That's good. All right, so this is the nose, and I think I'm going to do that. There we go. I think that's better. Her nose. So her eyes, her nose. She's got kind of a long nose. <laughs> um. And then I can move her lips down a little bit more. She's got kind of a tiny mouth, doesn't she? <laughs> That's better. A little bit better. You're gonna. Uh... Lori. Hi, Lori. Oh, now, now I remember Lori. Yes. <laughs> Lori's um, always in Jane's live chat. How are you? All right. That was better. Her nose. I like that nose better. <laughs> so. I'd like to try the freckles, but she's kind of a geisha girl, so we're not going to put the freckles on her. All right, so that goes like that. There we go. Get better, better this week. <laughs> All right, so let's do, what are we going to do for her hair? So now I'm going to, I think I'm going to use the color. Let's see what color we have. Ooh, what was that? Uh, I think I'll start off with the Madam Lash. 
so let's do that one. Madam Lash is like a gray. This might be the blue. And then, so we're going to... And she'll probably have some type of um, gold little ribbon thing in her hair. And then we can use maybe that little pink flower for her, her hair. It's wet here too, so it doesn't want to doesn't want to write because this glue is still I probably should dry this yeah, let me dry that I have to there we go hey Annette welcome so he gone again let me get it I want to bring her chin down a little. Let's see. I want her chin to come. For my first three quarter face, not too bad, I guess. <laughs> All right, so now let's see if we can do. So, this is the dark. This is the dark blue. This one is called um, Denim Blue. See how nice fine line though? That's a really nice fine line. And then this is a dark brown. I'm gonna use my bordello one. So this is for the eyebrows. And then we should give her hmm, probably the brown eyes. And then I'm going to use for her skin. Hmm, let's see. Maybe I'll come in with, uh, let's do this one. Celebrity skin. I should have probably put the name on these, but I figure I would just use the color that's on there. Let's try this one. Oh, I have one. Yeah, celebrity screen. Gotta go. Okay. Talk to you later. Um, so I am going to...
That's pretty light for you to see, probably. What did I do with my eraser? I'm going to use my white pen. Oh, I didn't get a chance to show you Jane's new white pens either. I love the white pen for like erasing. Okay, not bad. So this is her uh, veneer. This is the brush white with fame. And then what did I do with my little template? Here we go. I'm going to come in with what do we use that for the little eyeball? Let's do this. We'll do it with this one. Do. I'm do it a bit. That one. Nancy's starting to look a little better. <laughs> Although this eye probably still is tilted too much. And this one's not tilted enough. Just must have to come down maybe a little bit more. You have a good white pen? Oh, we love a good white pen, yes. All right, and let's do um, her lips in this pink. Oh, I want to lighten up this, though. Lips look a little bit better. All right, so let's get out. Mm, what should we do with her skin? I think I'm going to go with this lightest one, shortbread. So let me get this one out. This one is Silk Stocking Shortbread. So what I'm going to do is let's take. I have green on here. Oh, hold on. <laughs> it's got a green face. There we go. This eye still probably should come down some. Just another hair. Thanks. Thanks, Yvonne. All right. And so. I'm just going to. Now my friend Bab, she uh, she wound up spilling one of her bottles of uh, Skinny. Oh, I, don't you just hate when that happens? That happened to me with one of my other inks. Hopefully this will stay nice and light. 
and then we'll come around with something dark when we put that blue on there. Think of what color we should do her kimono. It's a really pretty, nice, light skin color. I really like it. Um, I think I'll take out my... What color do you think? Maybe like a royal blue? I did bring some... Um, in her hair. I think we have to do her hair black. So I am going to take the... Uh, Masha, we'll go with a gray first. Oh, I have to dry this one side. This one side is still sticky. So, pecan, hold on. <laughs> this side's still sticky. That's a wrong one. Caught. <sighs> That's better. All right, so let's go with, I'm um, going to go with thick, bigger brush. Let's see this one. What happened to my water vapor? Pee? There we go. I don't have enough room. I might have come in here with layer cake if um, this doesn't cover enough. So we want to come over on this side. This. All right, let's see what that does. Kind of more of like, um, it's got like a purple tone, tint to it. And here we're going to put like a gold, um, like a headband type thing. What is it alive? <laughs> it's 
So we'll come in with more darker. Um, I don't want her ear to be so big. Did we decide on what color for her kimono? I also have paper that I bought. So let's see. Um, well, I want to use some of these. Some of these in her hair. Remember I got these off of um, eBay? So we can put some of these butterflies on here. We'll put that. We'll put that in her hair. Um, I have this. Oh, we could cut out um, a gold dragon. Maybe we could do that. I got these at uh, TJ Maxx a couple, um, a couple months ago in last year, actually. I also have this book that uh, Bonnie has gifted. Um, not gifted us, but she got us these. One thing we could put a couple of these maybe on there. Thank you, Ruth. Maybe we'll tear some of these out of here and put them in there. So these are called, um, it's a chop book. So they, they're, um, I wish I could find mine. When I went to Japan, I had my name written in one. And it's like a little cement square uh, block. And at the end has your initials or whatever. And so they stamp it so they know all the different ones that they did. So isn't it cute? So I have to thank Bonnie for that, gifting us that. Like even just to practice some of the letters would be cool. What if we put this, um, how about if we put this in her for her kimono? We could do that. Cut this up. What do you, oh, you can't see. Let me move you back. <laughs> Yeah. Or we could go. I don't want red. I don't think the red would go. You think the red would go? Maybe that one? I can squeak you up a little bit. Okay, move my camera a little bit so you can see. I think the blue one. I think the blue one looks good. Maybe I'll cut out one of these little dragons. I'm trying to see. I think I have another book here. Hold on. Mm -hmm. There's one of the ones I made. <laughs> See, I would like something like this, although it's too contrasty. Um, I thought I had some in here, but maybe not. That's a book. Blue? Yeah, I feel like the blue. Me too, I like the blue. Um, I used to have a whole big book. Okay, different ones. Let's see what this is. I think this is the same. I think these are the same. Yeah. All right, we'll go with the blue. I do like that green. I wish I could find my other book. She's cute. Maybe I'll stick her in here. <laughs> Um, all right, so we want to get most, uh, most, I want to get this part, <clears throat> excuse me, the butterfly. So if we did her, we could get that in there like that. So let's see if we, so I'm just kind of judging. Uh, this is 
Что есть? myself here that's your neck that you might even have to come down a little <clears throat> make a little notch in here for her neck I'll need another piece for the this side. Maybe I could save this. That's still there. <laughs> kind of quiet today. And with this, do this is for her neck. Sorry, I'm concentrating. <laughs> so we have that like that. And then we need like a gold, a gold strip. Can we put like this? Let's see what happens if we cut one of these. So now it's a straight line. We want it to bend. Thanks, Joan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do little snips at the bottom, like halfway up. Whoops. Halfway up. <clears throat> and that will help me curve it. So let's see if I can. So at each block, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm just cutting snipping it and that will help it curve so anytime you have something straight and you want to bend it i go here now you just have to cut it so that has room to curve Holding my breath. <laughs> Hold on. I don't want to cut through it. All right, there. So let's glue this down first. <clears throat> glue this piece first.
And then this one here. <coughs> And then hopefully, I'm going to use a liquid glue, I think, for this part. But of course, none of my liquid glues ever work. Let's see. Well, let's try this one. Let's see if this works. Oh, yeah, it works. Miracle. <laughs> So I put a little bead of glue there. I guess I'll bring you in closer now so you can see what I'm doing. And then now this should, where's the part that I cut? Oh yeah. So you should be able to put this down. And see how it, how it curves now. Let's just get it on top of that. See how nicely that curves now? If you just snip it at the bottom, just a little bit. I'm gonna get this part off her neck. Right, and then we'll bring this piece and then we'll put a piece on here. Another piece. And this one's going to have to be longer, so I'm going to have to cut a bigger strip. Thank you, Kimberly. Thanks, Yvonne. So even though this is a small piece of paper, you still can get it to turn. Just as long as you remember that you've got to snip it so that it has a chance to go around. I glue my fingers up to be careful. Just fast forward if you're watching the replay. I gotta cut it. Can't see what I'm doing. The only reason I know that is when I used to sew and you had to get things to go around, you had to snip it at the bottom to get it to give. And for those of you who have a sewing machine, I say this all the time because most people don't realize it. But when you're changing your bobbin, it's Kathy Burke's still here. <laughs> um, never blow in to get the dust out because the moisture from your breath, when you go to open your sewing machine, say five years from now, it will be all rusted in those parts because the moisture from your breath is gotten stuck in there and will rust out your sewing machine parts. A lot of people don't, don't realize that. There we go. All right. And then we just do the same thing. Just put a bead of glue. Oh, you can't see. I can't get it up any, put it up any higher. All right, and I don't know where we cut our piece right there. So this, this is clean. 
going to go like this. See how nicely that curves now? There you go. Oh, yes, Kathy, never blow in. A lot of people are so tempted to blow in your bot or anywhere when you're, that's why they give you that little brush to get a lot of the dirt out. Um, but yeah, people open their sewing machine up like, you know, years down the road and they're wondering, why is there rust in? How did rust get in there? Yeah, from your breath. <laughs> yeah. So even if you like, if you were doing circles and you wanted to do a, a fancy little trim around your circle for, with paper, you can do it this way. Oh, this needs to be black. I'll hold it up close in a minute. I know you can't really see it down here. Yeah, I had a girlfriend, um, and her sewing machine was so rusted underneath because she's always used to do that, blow, <laughs> blow the dust away. There we go. All right. Isn't that cool, the way that turned out? So I'll show you now. Let me move this. So see how nice that curves around now? And it's just a little snippet that you have to remember to do. So and I think I'll probably put down, uh, I don't know, what, what are we going to put here? This is still wet. Let me, oh, it's just got a big blob there. Let me put the heat gun on again. Sorry. Sorry for so much heat gun. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. I never get to finish it, um, but I'll finish it over the weekend, and then I'll post it on IG. And there's still, her eyes still need to be done. I want to paint all the little cherry blossoms. Um, I do want to, let's pick out, um, where are my little butterflies? Thanks, Joy. Thanks, everyone. Let's see, what do we want to put on here? So if you've ever seen these, these are called, um, geez, what are they called? Oh, I have these little stickers we could stick on here, too. Um, we could do this, Goodwill. Oh, I think this is, it's not a sticker, it's acetate. We could stick one of those on there at the bottom. Oh, let me move you back out. could stick one of those on there um, this one with the gray kind of goes with our hair oh here we go Chinese folk paper cuts so if you ever want to um, get them you can find them on eBay they're super thin oh, I love these too oh this one look that one right there would look really good wouldn't it except for the green would um, I love the flower is that one you might not see the um, you might not see the butterfly though on that one. This one, we did the yellow. No yellow on this page though. So this now that we have a little bit of blue and purple in her kimono. Love everything mixed media. <laughs> That's good. 
maybe we could do this one. Let me. I really like the other one though. I kind of want to pull these out of. Is that one all the way in? See how paper thin these are? Let's see if I can open one. I've used them once before. They're just so cool. They have I have like little um, pelicans. You can see how light and fluffy that that is, and how paper thin it is. So cool. See, if we put it there, you lose the butterfly. But I do love the flower part. Maybe we can just, uh, I don't know, maybe cut off the butterfly. Because I do love that one. If we take the butterfly and switch it to a different butterfly, maybe. Mm. We did the gray one. We did the gray one. You'll be able to see the gray a little bit. What do you think? And I'll make her hair a darker anyway. But now maybe if we use this one, because the green would go against her hair. So let, me, let me pick that one up. Let me put this back in. Cut it, yes. Let's try this one. What do you think about that one? If I can bring it up a little closer now. Hope not making you seasick back and forth, back and forth. What do you think about that one? And the hair will be darker. It'll be black, you know, dark. It'll make, I'll make it blacker. Any, any, what do you think? Then again, I can use that one and then just put her in like that. Maybe that's what I'll do because with the hair blacker, you'll be able to see it, and that will, uh, you could do it like that. I could do two, one there, and one up there. Can you see that? That'll look pretty, I think. All right, well. Let me darken her hair one more time, and then um, then I'm going to go. Then I will finish this up and share it on uh, my IG. And then next week, uh, like I said, I have Devin's new stencil and Safia's. I think I got Safia's stamp and Darcy's stencil. And I'm going to work on a mermaid book because I want to do mermaid. And um, I have to put something else here, like something else with her shoulder. But I don't know. You like this one? Which one? <laughs> I already moved it. Uh, let's see. Oops, wrong way. You like the two that I put here? One here, one there? Let's just darken this a little bit. I'm thinking maybe, maybe we should go with some metallic. Let me open this. Is that dry? Hi, Amalia. <laughs> We're just finishing up. I think I have some black. Let's try the black metallic. Um, I'll need that. Go with this. Did you feel the earthquake where you were, uh, Amalia? scary wasn't it all right let 
Will I come up? You did? I know, it was scary, wasn't it? So weird. Yeah, we've had a tornado when I was little once we had a tornado here. And that was pretty scary. So I've been through a tornado and now a hurricane. I almost that stuck down too well. He wasn't scared. He wasn't scared, really? I was just worried if we were going to keep having, you know, the aftershocks. They did have a couple up north, um, but then uh, we didn't. We didn't wind up getting them. Oh gosh. No, it didn't last long, like like five seconds, four seconds, maybe. Did you wind up going to the stamp show? I didn't wind up going in Pennsylvania. I wonder if Tam went. Thank you. You have to see my trick that I did to bend the paper. Zelina was doing working with washi tape on a piece that she was doing. And um, you could have done the same thing I did. Did you see it? Like, gosh, you're up late. You guys are up late. All right. Well, it's getting better. And then we'll put the little gold thing. You saw it. Yeah, I'm good. You have to try it out. Yeah, I only know that because of from sewing, you know, um, that that's the, if you want something to go in a curve. I'll even do it with my, um, oh, let's see. Do I have one here? My punches. Let's see if this one's a good one. Oh, yeah. Let me show you. I'll show you one here. So if you have punches, you could do the same trick. Oh, let me put this. Oh, hopefully I have a piece of paper. <laughs> That's the trick. Do I have paper? I'll do it. On, I'll do it with this. Just cheap paper, but so you're just gonna punch. You see? So if you wanted to make this into a circle, you could. So now you would have this border, right? Like this. You guys probably have seen this before. There. So now you have a border, right? Straight like that. And then, so now this is what, where every every one of these little points are here. So you're just going to come in and snip. Not all the way up to the point. You just want to snip like halfway. A little bit more than half. And you can do this with any punch that you have. Any fancy punch that you have. So now let's 
say we uh, we did, wanted a circle here. So now all you have to do is bend this. I can do it. My fingers. I have to bend it first. You stick one end kind of underneath the other and then bend, bend, and then it starts to curve. Do you see that? See how you can wait for it, wait for it, yep. So if we wanted to put this curve in her hair, you would be able to do that, can you see? And then you would just cut longer, a longer one if you wanted to make a circle. But yeah, you'd be able to do that, yeah. <laughs> and I do, I've done it with like Martha Stewart, you know, where it has like the butterflies, so you know, it's all like butterflies at the end, so then you can make the circle with the butterflies. So yeah, so yeah, give that a try. Yeah. Just have to remember to cut it, you know, not all the way up and then just tuck it underneath like that. And then it'll slowly, slowly do your circle. So, all right, so have a good week, everyone. Thanks for hanging in. If you watch the replay, thanks for hanging in this long. And then next week we are gonna work with some mermaids for mermaid. Yes, lace, yep, mm-hmm, yep. So, and then um, I'll decide whether or not I'll do both of those. What did I do with them now? This one, right? If we're going to do both of these, we do this one here, this one up there. See, now that's darker, the hair, it'll show up better. Okay, bye. Hold on. And then this one. See now how that is? And then we can put this one here like this. And then I'll need a third, and that's the little third little flower. But yeah, it's look, looking pretty cute. <laughs> and then when I come back, I'll share how I uh, painted all the little cherry blossoms and all. So, oh, thanks. Thanks for coming. All right, have a good week, and then I will see you guys uh, next Sunday. Bye, everyone. Oh, thank Kimberly. <laughs> thanks, everyone.